everybody, today is the day. This is, we are about to do a huge tour. We're taking a, we, we explain everything that we're doing. Okay, so this is the Golden Circle. Uh -huh. We're going to see a geyser. We're going to see a waterfall that has a lot of rich history to it. And then we're going to be swimming in a natural hot spring secret lagoon. And then tonight is really the main event. I mean, all of those are main events, right? But we're sleeping in a bubble. So we're going a to be bubble, guys. out in the completely, forest in a bubble. Completely open. Hopefully we'll see the Northern Lights tonight if it's clear enough. And so we're going to show you everything we explore here today in Iceland today. And you're going to join us with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Bubble tour, geysers, waterfalls, everything. Oh, Let's hi. do this. <laughs> All right. We are in. We're, here we are. We're in the car. We're off to have a wonderful day. We ha we're with a group of people. We have some people here. They're in front of London. They're like, <laughs> like hey. We have fugitives. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to like, we're going to uh, uh, like a national park. And we just learned, our tour guide told us that Iceland is very new to tourism. In 2010, they had less than half a million people come here. Now, in 2022, they've had over 2 million people come in tourism. So it's starting to pick up. But we're going to go to this a park. We're going to go see geo uh, geysers today. We're going to see a waterfall. We're going to go to the Bubble Hotel. We're going to a certain bakery. And, secret Lagoon. And the Secret Lagoon. So today's a big day. Okay, so here we are at this park. You have This is unbelievable. You see this little rock right here, this little ledge, and it goes all the way down there, along the line there. That is North America. This is the divide. Now, if you look all the way over here, see that, 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 that right there, that dark line right there? there? That's Europe. So this is literally in the center here. That's basically nowhere. And right there where those um, white like bands are, there are people that are putting on dry suits and they're going to dive down this lake and be able to touch both continents. Uh, so it's really cool. This is kind of considered like a holy land here in Iceland. Around uh, 10,000, uh, I'm sorry, not 1,000, uh, the Vikings came here and they held parliament or uh, they had a council right here in the center. And right down in this field is where the Vikings first met. They had their very first council here. And the reason they chose this spot is because it's kind of like, it, like their horses and stuff were all encaged in here. They, they couldn't run around and it's also really good fishing. So Icelandic people come here like on their Independence Day, they, um, they celebrate this area. This here is the largest lake in Iceland and uh, it's gorgeous guys. And the water is very clear. They say that if you're in the water, you can see almost all the way down. It's very, very clear. So here we are. This is, this is the edge of North America. And then right over there is Europe. <laughs> so cool. Little church down there, little houses. And that's the divide again. Here's the divide of North America. That's that rocks. And see that little that pathway right there? We're going to walk that pathway. So technically, we will be between North America and Europe in nowhere land. So now we're walking down. So technically this here is the divide of North America, I guess. And we're walking over here, just walking down into nowhere land. Here she comes. Okay. So we found out that it's drifting apart by three centimeters a year. And it's sinking. It's sinking, so I guess. So the middle must be sinking, right? Yeah. But so. he was cute. He said, so this, the middle section really is the middle of nowhere. Because you literally are in the middle of nowhere because you're not on any continent. You're so right now we are, we're in the middle of nowhere, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're, look at this, guys. It's just this, just goes and goes. It is very, very pretty. It's very peaceful and it's quiet here. You can just walk around and explore. It's fun. I know the fun's not a very good descriptive word. It's just, it's cool. I like it. Here's some waterfalls. And if you look, the water is so clear. You see all the way down to the bottom. It's like people throwing some coins in there and uh, made their wishes. And then there's the waterfall, like these little waterfalls. Okay, so now we have been, we've drove for about 45 minutes and we are now to this area called Geyser, which is a bunch of geysers. And we're gonna go and see all of these different geysers. And they, it gets, there are some really cool ones. They go off every 10 minutes or so. This one is, goes off every 
once or twice a year, so we won't see that one. But we're gonna go see a bunch of different geysers. Let's go check it out. So here's here's a little geyser. This is this one doesn't erupt. It's more like a geothermal pool. And then it goes down here. Some geysers down there. We're gonna go down there. Well, that one kind of erupts. But we're gonna turn and we're gonna go all the way up here, up to the top, to see this geyser up to the top. Here, there's a whole bunch of geysers. That one right there, it goes off about every seven to 10 minutes. That one goes off maybe once a year. Geysers are rare. So cool fact we like about geysers is they're really rare and they're only found on in a few countries. So that's pretty sweet. And the water is super hot. It's 80 to 100 degrees Celsius. So there's signs everywhere. Like, don't get in the water, don't touch it. And it smells like rotten eggs. That's the sulfur. <laughs> Here we are waiting for the geyser. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. That's amazing. Wow. You see it bubbling up. The one time it, it scared the heck out of us, I thought it was going to land on us, we were so close to it. It was huge and it took forever. The pressure was building, 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 building for a long time. And now it's a big boy. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so this is a very rudimentary explanation of the geyser from what we could tell. Is what happens is the water underneath gets heated by the, you know, like the magma and, the, the, and it starts, it gets super heated and turns the water into steam and it rises up. But then the steam comes to cold water on top of it. And the cold water acts like a shelf and it kind of blocks the steam. Well, it keeps building more steam pressure. Eventually it pushes through that cold water. <laughs> And that's why you have a geyser. I think that's kind of a, a very elementary explanation of a geyser. All right, so we left the geyser. We, we drove about six miles and we're now we're looking at this amazing waterfall. Ah, uh, holy cow. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look, you can see the, the rainbow coming right out of the Fizzer, fizzer there. This is awe-inspiring. It's I, something I can't believe it. I've been to Niagara Falls once before, and it's it's like you just feel the power here. It's, it's insane. It's so cool. No problem. Look at that. Wow. Almost like indescribable. Our tour guide said, he's like, go stand by the water and you'll feel the power. That's literally what you feel. It's like, it's the power of this water. It's, I can't even believe it. There she is, feeling the power of the water. Very powerful. The water just runs down, it's so amazing. And look at this, it's like, Sun's up there and the water's coming out. Just wow, wow. So the history here is really amazing. So I believe it was over a hundred years ago. I'm so sorry if I don't have the exact details, but there was a farmer and he owned the waterfall. And then the waterfall was going to go into the hands of someone else. And he had a daughter that was really connected to the waterfall. She would take. Uh, like tours here for the local groups and she just really loved this waterfall so she didn't want it to end up in the wrong hands and so she traveled to Reykjavik a lot I think it was like three or four times in just a couple of years trying to change the laws so this waterfall could be protected and that was a hundred years ago so that's what by foot or by horseback like that's a long long trip huge long trip feels like we've been driving for a long time so I can't even imagine doing that on horseback or even on foot well it worked because she said if um, they 
you know, can't save the waterfall. And she would throw herself into the waterfall and it worked and the waterfall is totally protected now. And she was considered one of the first like women environmentalists, which is amazing. And this is one of the uh, biggest tourist attractions to see here in Iceland. And I can see why, I mean, it, this is incredible. Another awesome thing about this place is there are rainbows. Rainbows everywhere. This is a really good waterfall, a really good place to see uh, rainbows appear. So this is truly magical. I love it. All right, so that's what we saw. I know it's really windy, I apologize, but wow. It's just insane. Super windy. It's very cold. The wind is just whipping up here out of the face. And it's cold, like you feel it in years. But it feels good, like I like that feeling. It's like, oh, I like I like being cold. It's a little bit blurry, but we are in what's called the secret lagoon. And uh, it's a thermal pool. It's amazing. I'm gonna turn the camera around, it'd be a little bit better. Oh, look at this, there she is. What's it like? Amanda, tell me what it's like. No, you can serve, you got this. I know. It's warm, and the thing is, is like on your feet, it's like sand, like these gravel rocks. So it feels good, good on your feet. Oh, so uh, look, they look so pretty. Look at the steam so coming up. Pretty. And this is like, this is like, you have to be careful because there's certain spots, it gets hot. So cool. This is so. coming up there. Oh, you guys, it's so green. Oh my gosh. And it's supposed to be really good for you. It has a lot of health benefits, but I did hear it's not so great on your hair. So I wrapped my hair up. But other than that, it's supposed to be like really healing and a good detox and it's so relaxing. This is great. This is so great and the sun is setting right now which just adds to it and then you see the steam rising from the hot springs so there's the real hot springs they're like 212 degrees fahrenheit so super super hot and then they heat this water oh, i'm in a hot spot right now this is really this is actually really hot <laughs> right So this is called the Secret Lagoon. It's the oldest like swing pool in Iceland. It's from like 1945. And it's, the, it's been around since that time. He has a, like the old changing room or something behind us. And right there, you see where that steam's coming up? That's where the, that's the hot water. The closer you get that wall, the hotter it gets. And we got pretty close and it was like almost uncomfortable. So, and you can't, they don't want you going past that wall because it would scald you. You guys, we just got done eating at this restaurant here called Mika. It's and dinner. And there, almost everything we had, like, it had chocolate intermixed with the food. Oh my gosh. It, it was, was amazing. So I had pizza, but it had a raspberry, spicy raspberry sauce. Yeah. And which had was scallops. amazing. And tons of cheese. It's scallops with dark chocolate. Yeah. They had uh, prawns with prawns white with chocolate. white chocolate. Yes, and, now, and then they have these handcrafted chocolates. So this is my perfect restaurant. This is my dream come true. Like I cannot emphasize enough. This is my dream come true. This is a chocolate shop. We had a chocolate. Um, it was a. It was hot chocolate, but they said it was like hot chocolate with ice, and it had blueberry in it, and it was drinking chocolate. And then we had a hot chocolate that was just hot chocolate. And that was okay. drinking chocolate. So good. We are now going to order our chocolate. They have a special little thing here. Look at this. It's going to raise up. Oh, check it out. <laughs> Just raise up. Now we choose six pieces of chocolate. This all six looks so pieces? good. Six pieces. Okay. All right, now, so you okay. choose. I would two, like, two, I want, two. want the vanilla. Yes. Can I get a vanilla chocolate? Okay. And then the strawberry cayenne. It's really spicy. It's very spicy. Yeah, guys. I like it. I love spicy. Okay. Like I want it. Okay. Um, Miles, do you have your two, or should I go next? I, I want some green. 
Oh, no, that's tequila. Okay. Oh, that's a, no, that's tequila. Do you want that? How about those orange, orange here orange, is miles? Caramel, passion fruit, coconut. You like coconut? Vanilla. What are those sound good? Vanilla. Okay, another vanilla. Do you want a coconut? You like coconut? They yeah. have caramel, oh. passion fruit. Oh, and, and then I want caramel. Caramel, passion, passion fruit. fruit. Okay. No tequila, chocolate for miles. I will have one coconut and one orange. <laughs> one coconut um, and one orange. Thank you. Okay, I have six. There six. you go. Perfect. Okay, we have our chocolate. Look how cute. The tiniest little box. Six chocolates to each. This is heaven. You guys, we are inside the bubble. <laughs> this is literally a giant, a giant bubble. This is a giant bubble, and the, right now, so you can turn off. You turn off. So here's this. Let me show you what's in the bubble. Uh -huh. It's literally just like a bedroom. So light? you hold the lamp over there so I can well, see that, Miles. Oh yeah, Miles, come to the bed. Come to the. So we we sleep here, <laughs> and then this is all it is. It's just a bedroom, and then it's completely up. You can look up in the sky. And see the northern lights. The northern lights, it says, should be between 10 and 2 in the morning. There is, there's electric blankets because it gets cold out here. So we can do the electric blankets. Whoa. And then, it off. and then uh, this is it. This is amazing. This is crazy. And, and you can see the stars. I mean, they're so bright. So beautiful. We'll turn off all the lights to try to show you everything we can see. So here we are in the bubble. <laughs> and it's, it's a bubble. Like, like, it's literally a bubble. It's soft. Like, it's not glass. Does that make sense? It's like a plastic. Yeah, yeah like it's a plastic. Glass. And then if you look down here, we have a little lamp. I love the lamp. Hey and then guys. down here is where they have the power for the to for the electric blankets because oh. it gets a little cold. And the, this is. And your also, entry guess room. what? What? They're t way too strong. You can not get up. Well, Whoa. we're protected. That's good. We're protected. And then this is like a little entryway to keep yeah. the heat in. You can put your shoes in there. It's almost like bags. a diver tank. You've got two, two. Uh, so you got this door here, then the zip up door here, and that's they the one rule. Don't open. You up You can never both open doors. both at the same time, else the bubble will deflate. Ooh. So we have to have this. We open this door, then we get in that door, we close it, then we open up the next door, and then when it lights up in the morning, we'll show you even more. Okay. Light out. Okay, guys. Here we are in the bubble. Amanda put us in matching pajamas. <laughs> we're in the bubble. To, we're in the bubble, right here. And when you turn off the lights, you can see the stars way up. Looks great. But we decided that we need to eat our chocolate. So Amanda's got the chocolate right over there. Mom, you're gonna eat the spicy one. And then we have some chocolate. Then we're gonna drop lights and look at the stars. Between ten thirty and two, they said that we'll be able to see the northern lights. At that point, we will turn the camera on and show you the northern lights. But babe, we gotta open the chocolates. Okay. Yeah, let's do open it. Okay, this is Miles filming now. We're about to open the chocolate, but mom does not know if she does not know how to open it, so I'm not sure. Okay, oh, we good. Go. She, just, opened. she just opened it. Okay, this I know this, this one is here. a test. This one here is the spicy one. Spicy. Oh, I'm not tasting that. I'm doing that one. Ready? Here we go. We're ready. Oh, you popped the whole thing in your mouth. I would have taken a bite. Oh, no. <laughs> it's cayenne pepper. How spicy is it? Mmm, I'm gonna try it. Miles, yours is one of, yeah, the round one, I think. Does it have ghosts on the top? What's on the top? Oh, there's some white stuff. It's oh. vanilla. Do, oh, it's just like. Oh. oh, you popped the whole thing in your mouth, too. You guys are crazy. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that's okay, good. Guys, it's How a little bit. How spicy is it? It's Show a little Dennis. bit spicy. How spicy is it? How spicy is it? It's, it's a little bit spicy, like I can feel it. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10. 4. Oh, not too bad. That's tolerable. It's And it's also crazy because we're in the bubble. Like when I talk, I can hear it mm -hmm. echo. Ooh. Wow. It just got spicy. Really? Yes. Mm. Okay, maybe if 6. What? Like I can feel it. Mm. Mm. So mine is coconut. And it's delicious. Mm. It's perfect. Wait a minute, Miles. Hold on. This is my other one. Okay. Vanilla. This is <coughs> this is vanilla. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the one I just had. Uh, is it good? Oh yeah. You guys don't like. You don't take bites. You just pop the whole thing in your mouth. Yeah, that's what we like mm -hmm. to do. We're boys. Oh, bright shiny light. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You like it? Wait, what's this? One? Oh, this one's Miles. This is orange. passion fruit. Oh, this is orange. Mm -hmm. I got orange. 
you. And um, you got passion fruit caramel. Mm. Is so, are you sure this is not passion fruit caramel? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is good or bad. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> It's not good. The passion fruit is not good. Right? It's not good. But okay. well, look at his, look at his pajama bottoms. Look at daddy's pajama bottoms. Look at mommy's pajama bottoms. <laughs> We're all in these little flannel pajamas. Yes. Oh, okay. With a bubble. Okay, so this is looking straight up. You can see two stars there. We actually can see a lot more, but the camera can only two stars. <laughs> um, but then once the Roy Borealis, it should be able to pick. The camera should be able to pick it up. Describe it. Just like. Look at that. So that's. There's a pine tree. That's what that dark spot is. But behind it is the roar. And it just, it just goes across the sky. It's almost like a wave. It comes and goes. Obviously it's. You guys, this is the morning of the. Here's. We are. Look at Amanda's socks. You see a little, little, little peeking out of little miles right there, still in bed. <laughs> and then the man, this is, you guys, was so crazy. It was the best experience. It was ever. awesome. <gasps> oh my gosh. So this, this is the outside. This is the little bubble hotel that we're in. And it literally is just a giant bubble. And then you have like this little entrance in. That's the first one. You have to go through the zipper and then zip it up and then. Let me give me this door right here to go inside. Here we are. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So they brought us here in the bakery to have breakfast. Look at all these, oh my gosh. I can't even handle this. There's so much. This is like a cheese danish sprinkle donut. And then Miles got this, it's like a custard chocolate. I don't even know what it is. It looks amazing though. Okay, amazing. That donut is so soft. It's like a pillow. It just like collapses in your mouth. It is so soft. It's delicious. That's the same with this bread. I thought it would be like hard. It's soft. Mm. It's soft with cheese inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, we just got done with that whole wonderful bubble tour. That was the ho this is the hotel we were staying at. It was the Hilton. They dropped us off here. And then right across from the Hilton, there's a little tiny restaurant here called Lemon. And I think we've eaten here like five times. We just love it so much. We got fresh juices. If you could, could you hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button to let us know that you like this kind of content. I know it's a little bit different than what we normally do, but we're having the best time here in Iceland. This was just all of a sudden trip that Amanda kind of planned and we wanted to share it with you guys. We've got one more video coming out, coming out in two more days, uh, showing you uh, like the black sand beaches of Iceland and all this kind of cool stuff that we're gonna see and we're gonna go down south. So we'll show you that in the next video. Thanks guys, hit that like button. Talk to you later, bye-bye.